just not been as good, but Siri has been right around the league lead most of the year. Here's a curveball for a strike to Trammell. 0-1. There hasn't been a lot of base stealing among the league leaders lately. Lucius Fox of Bowling Green is now the league leader with 26. Here's a ball low. Three different players, including now Taylor Trammell and Jose Siri, all have 24. They're tied for second of the league in stolen bases. One and one to Taylor Trammell. Beltre at first base. One out, fifth inning. Stretched by Paulino. And the pitch. Grounded slowly, foul to the right side. One and two. Dragons will be off tomorrow. Then they'll open up a three-game series at Clemson, Iowa on Wednesday night at 7.30. All three games in that series, by the way, will start at 7.30 in Clemson. Then we'll head to Kane County to take on the Kane County Cougars in suburban Chicago. The 1-2. Fastball missed outside. 2-2 two -two to Trammell. Back at home. A week from Wednesday to take on our final West Division opponents for the year. That would be the Burlington Bees and the Peoria Chiefs. The 2-2 pitch. Check swing. Did he go? And he did not, says the base umpire on the appeal, Matt Cowan. Three balls, two strikes. If you're not familiar with Midwest League scheduling in terms of cross-divisional games... You will play three games against the teams in the opposite division every year, and only three. And it alternates. One year you'll play them in your home ballpark, and the next year you'll travel to their park. Fastball is called strike three. Trammell had flipped away the bat. He's not happy with that call. He thought it was high. Trammell not happy at all with that call. 